Yes, you've read that right. I will be trading my SIG P365 for a revolver, but not your ordinary everyday carry revolver. This is gonna be a full size five and a half inch barrel 357 Magnum single action revolver. I know you're probably like, why in the world would you do something like that? Well, let me explain really quick. So on this channel, I have been reviewing holster after holster. I've been testing the latest and greatest holsters out there, some of the higher end, some of the cheaper holsters, using my SIG P365, my Glock 19, Ruger LC9. The list goes on and on on what I've been testing and using to test these holsters and everyday carry items. And then I realized something. Everything is getting smaller and everything is getting lighter and that is a good thing. It's a great thing to be more comfortable when we carry. Technology is advancing. But I wanna take a step back today and just really appreciate how far we've come as a gun community, how far we've come in our ability to protect ourselves and our family and the people we care about. That's why I am gonna be giving up my SIG P365 for the day in exchange for a full size revolver, five and a half inch barrel, and I will be carrying that sucker inside the waistband. And I wanna take you on that journey with me. First things first, we have to find a holster, then we have to find some ammunition, and then we're gonna see what it's like to carry a full size revolver, single action, and just really take a day to appreciate how far we've come as a gun community in our ability to carry micro subcompact guns <laughs> in lieu of a full size five and a half inch, five pound single action revolver. Let's go. First things first, we gotta go get some ammo. The closest door to me right now is is Cabela's so we'll go try over there they're expensive they're always overpriced and uh, usually their stuff is gone pretty quick so I don't have high hopes for Cabela's but we'll see I made it over to Cabela's I'm a little bit nervous never done this vlogging style so I'm gonna go in there hopefully they'll let me record if not then I will just try to do some sneaky footage of uh, what kind of ammo, ammo they have there. I'm looking for either 357 uh, or if they have 38 special, that'll work fine too. So let's get in there and let's see what they have. No good. 34.99. Come on. So they are not a big fan of people filming inside of their stores, which is understandable. Okay, it's fine. They just politely asked me to stop filming, so I did. But I did get that little clip for you guys. You've seen that it was $35 for 20 rounds of Hornady Critical Duty, I believe it was. Uh, that was their last box. It was 38 Special. I don't want Critical Duty. I'm just not a fan of Critical Duty. I prefer... Uh, HST something like that. So I'll try one more store if they don't have it Then I'm gonna see if I could dig up some ammunition. I have in one of my containers I'm pretty sure I have a few rounds of some 38 special. So let's go Okay, this is another random box where the ammunition where the box just kind of broke and I just threw the ammunition in plastic bags I'm pretty sure there's some 38 special and 357 in here. Let's see there we go. We got some 357 in here. Again, critical duty. Not a fan. But if I have to, I'll go with it. There's some more. That looks like 45. There we go. Jackpot. This is 357 Magnum. Perfect. Barnes, 140 grain. This will work perfect. This is exactly what I was looking for. Let's go. So I'm back where I record all my videos in this room and I'm kind of running into problem here I cannot find a holster for a five and a half inch single action revolver I don't think people have this type of gun in mind when they are making inside the waistband holsters So uh, it's is it possible? Can we make this work? I think so. There's one solution I have I think one of these holsters I have will work for inside the waistband for a single action five and a half inch barrel revolver. Let's try it out. Comfort tack. Let's see if this will hold the revolver. This should work. If it, if it holds it, it will work. I'll be able to carry this inside the waistband for the remainder of the day. Just make sure it covers that trigger, which I'm not too worried about. It is a single action revolver. And I think, I think that'll work. I think that'll work perfectly. Let's give that a try. 
There it is guys, inside the waistband, single action revolver, five and a half inch barrel, comfort tack came through with that, it is working perfect. It's not that uncomfortable yet, I just put it on, but it is doable. Let's check the printing really quick. Not printing bad at all. Now it's time for me to take this out on the town and test it, go around, do what I would normally do, take the kids to the park, have some family time. Let's go. All right, y'all, so I have run into the second problem. The first one being the comfort tack without my belt on, like if I'm wearing gym clothes, is having a lot of trouble holding that gun up, which is expected. I mean, it's a revolver, it's heavy. It's just not designed to carry that much, especially when it's loaded. And uh, so that's number one, that's the big problem. Number two is I'm on my way to the gym and I'm wearing gym clothes and I have a torn rotator cuff, so I can't do upper body today. So I'm gonna have to focus on my lower body, running on the treadmill, things like that. And I always carry everywhere I go, even in the gym, and I'm having trouble figuring out a solution for this one. If I can't even bring, my, uh, bring the revolver with me or carry it all, because we don't have locked containers at the gym it's just an open area to put your stuff and I'm definitely not leaving my gun in a bag somewhere in the open um, if, it, if it's with me it's on me and so this is the second major problem running into carrying uh, such a big gun we'll see how it goes all right Jim is done all I could say is do not attempt to carry a full-size revolver in the gym just isn't gonna work All right, so this is day two of carrying the full-size revolver in uh, instead of my SIG P365. We're at the park right now. My kids are playing over there. There's my wife and kids over there. And I have to tell you that I am, ex I am just, it makes me really appreciate how far we've come when it comes to the technology of firearms and everyday carry, being able to protect our family and not have to carry or rely on full-size revolvers um, I'm really really missing the SIG right now uh, I'll take my Glock 19 even <laughs> in place of the revolver it's heavy it's clunky and it just I mean there's something definitely bad about carrying uh, a revolver at 357 Magnum don't get me wrong there I love this gun but it's just not suitable for everyday carry. And I do have some key takeaways and I'm glad I did this because I'm able to really appreciate how far we've come in our technology for firearms. I mean, we can have a micro subcompact firearm that carries well over 12 rounds that fits in our pocket with the latest bullet technology that still is very effective. May not be a 357 Magnum, but it is definitely effective when you have uh, lower recoiling, outstanding bullets such as HST, and just being able to protect your family and the people that you care about and doing it comfortably and having the best technology is amazing. I love being American. I love that I'm able to carry whatever I want out here in the great state of Texas. So at the end of this video, I would definitely will be giving my final thoughts and uh, kind of a round table on what I think about uh, how far we've come as a community and definitely my appreciation for the technology and how far uh, technology has come when it comes to firearms. So I'm gonna spend some more time with the family, carry the gun around. If I, anything else pops up during my time with the family, I definitely will let you all know. See you soon. Hey guys, I am officially done carrying the full size single action revolver. I'll be sharing my thoughts in a little bit. Uh, tonight we are going to dinner for my wife's birthday. There's my wife, Tori. Um, so I switched to the SIG. It was just too much to carry. I will be sharing my thoughts on uh, the carrying a full-size revolver for the last two days but I also wanted to let you guys know my wife will be sharing her story um, we experienced or she experienced a home invasion uh, when I was gone at work a couple years ago and she's just gonna share her experience what she thinks and uh, how important it is to have a gun on you especially if you're home alone and you are by yourself so that's it this is the conclusion of the two day carry of a full size single action revolver. There are two major practical takeaways that I uh, was able to glean from this experience. So you do not wanna miss those. I think this will help you guys out as well. I chose the single action revolver five and a half inch for a very specific reason. And let me tell you why, because I know there are people out there, maybe some of you, uh, I know a couple of friends, I even have a couple revolvers that I like to carry every once in a while. So there are people who still carry revolvers for everyday carry, and I think it is an outstanding option for self-defense, especially those chambered in 357 Magnum. There's even, you know, amazing
amazing option, in my opinion, for outdoors when you're outdoor and you're worried about the four leg predator out there instead of the two leg or both, you know, while you're out hiking, camping, and there are some amazing options for revolvers. The reason I chose the single action five and a half inch was to make the point to address how far we've come in our ability to protect ourselves. Not that it's not a good option anymore. That's not the point here. So I really want to stress that to you guys. Okay, so the takeaways. There's this overarching theme that I want to point out really quick, and that is appreciation. Uh, I definitely appreciate how far we've come in our ability to be comfortable while we carry and the technology to make it more effective in our ability to protect ourselves and the ones we care about with whether that be bullet technology, gun technology. Uh, it's it's an overarching theme under these two point over these two points that is appreciation. So just keep that in mind. So the very first point that I want to address here is comfort. I can't tell you how uncomfortable at certain points it was to carry a five and a half inch fully loaded six round 357 Magnum single action revolver. Yesterday at the park, there was a point where I was like, I just want this thing off me. I want to go, you know, play with the kids. And, you know, I like to skateboard. And I was, you know, thinking I can skateboard right now, but I can't because I have this thing on me and it's very uncomfortable and it's very heavy and I just don't want to risk it falling off. And so it definitely gave me a new perspective on comfort, uh, how far we've come in our ability to be comfortable while we carry a firearm from this to an option like a Ruger LC9 or even smaller. There are smaller options out there. And the point of comfort is this, when you're more comfortable while you're carrying, you're more likely to continue to carry. And I say this from experience because living in Texas, there are times when, you know, it, it, frequently exceeds 100 degrees in the summer and it's just hot you're uncomfortable already as it is and then you're you're putting on a gun and you're like you know what? i just don't want to carry this i'm just running to the store it's hot already i'll be right back i don't want to put my gun on and uh, god forbid that be the time when you need it and it's just because you just weren't comfortable and you didn't want to put it on so comfort is definitely an essential part of this experiment that i took away there are holsters i've been testing holsters uh, weekly and I have still some coming in the mail, and there are holsters for your ankle, there are holsters for your chest, for your inside the waistband, outside the waistband, appendix on your hip, you name it, there's a holster for it that will make it a little bit more comfortable for you to carry. Holster technology has continued to advance, the materials are getting lighter, they're getting more comfortable, and just when you think you've seen it, there's another type or design of holster that makes it just a little bit more comfortable to carry. So just keep that in mind when you are carrying your or firearm just the ability to be comfortable is something that we should stop and appreciate and I am extremely thankful for it especially after carrying this bad boy around in my pants and thinking you know what oh I, I just miss my sig right now I really could just use my sig instead of this and that's where I drew the line we went to dinner you've seen that video with my wife and I was like you know what I gotta get the SIG back on. I'm not gonna be able to sit comfortably in a dinner with this. Uh, and if you are someone who still carries a single action, more power to you, I appreciate you. And uh, um, yeah, so uh, point number two, and this is, this is probably the major point for me, is the, uh, the growth of technology when it comes to the ability to protect ourselves. What I mean by that is, is this an effective tool? Would you stand in front of this Heck no, nobody would. This is a 357 Magnum coming out of a five and a half inch barrel. That is going to make for a very bad day for anyone standing on the other side of that. However, there are better options today when it comes to the ability to protect yourself. This is what I mean. We have the ability to take a small little firearm like this or even smaller pack it with 15 plus one rounds of the latest and greatest nine millimeter hollow point rounds that are extremely effective at stopping a threat all while doing it in just a little little package with the latest and greatest semi-automatic firearms or if you're a revolver carrier you can even carry nine millimeter in a revolver so the point is this if, God forbid, I ever find myself in a situation where I have to use a firearm to protect myself or my family or any innocent person, I want those odds so 
heavily stacked in my favor that there is zero chance for that bad guy to come out on top. I want to come out the winner in any kind of self-defense encounter, and the ability to do that does involve significant training, so make sure you are training, but also what tools you are carrying, and that is a very big part, and I want those odds stacked in my favor. I want the most rounds I can carry comfortably. I want that 15 plus one. I want a semi-automatic and uh, not a single action. So the point being, we have come so far in our ability to be effective self-defense individuals, people who can take a firearm in a package as small as this, carry 15 plus rounds. Not only that, the holster technology, now there's you know sidecar holsters where you can have an extra 15 rounds on you. You have 30 rounds on you. And in a very small package, being able to send a lot of rounds down range if need be to protect yourself and your family. So those are the two major points I really wanted to drive home here is one is the comfort. I appreciate and I'm so thankful for the ability to be comfortable while we protect ourselves. And number two is the technology. I'm so thankful that even though this gun is amazing and it would end someone's day very quickly, I am gonna grab a gun that has more rounds, better technology, uh, and just be a little bit more effective in its ability to help me protect myself, my family members, and those I love. So those are the two points. Again, don't get mad at me. I'm not saying there is not a place for something like this. Every time I go to the range, this gun is with me. Uh, sometimes it's just, you know, it's, it's just not what I'm going to choose as an everyday carry option. So that's the point here. Revolvers, they do have a place. There are people who carry them every day. The point here being, I wanted to take one extreme to a, and another extreme and show you the difference between the two and the two major takeaways, which was comfort, the ability to be comfortable while we protect ourselves and our family members and the technology, being able to take a gun so small, carry so many rounds and know it's gonna be effective and it's gonna work correctly to protect those we care about the most. Before we end this video, I do want to say my wife will be, she, you've seen her in this video, she will be uh, presenting her story on the time that, well, someone broke into our house. I was at work doing a overnight shift and she was home alone and someone broke in the house and the only thing that was effective in stopping someone from doing harm to my wife and my child was a firearm and she's going to share to you her story coming from a background where she had zero experience with firearms uh, they were not talked about in her home they were not something that were welcomed in her home to a place where she had a real life experience where this is what saved her life so be on the lookout for that should be out the next week or two guys please hit that subscribe button youtube makes it really difficult to get this content out there anything gun related self-defense uh, is very challenging when it comes to YouTube creators and content. So make sure you hit that subscribe button. I will catch you all on the next one. God bless.